hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be showing you how to repair peeled parts obviously some other parts are peeled but they are just for stability but this particular part i'm going to be repairing is very important that we pay close attention to it i'm going to show you in a few minutes can you see this line when you see a line coming like this and a part is missing right there that means you need to repair it okay and other parts that are peeled are for stability all right if you check your schematic diagram other parts that are peeled especially for this particular device x650 are not connected okay so if you want to know much about what i'm saying or know more about what i'm saying please join our online training and we would um, explain better to you now i'm zooming into this particular part because it needs to be repaired and the first thing you see the tracing of the lines the line right there i need to scratch it open so that i it can give me a a, a very good um, place to make my jumper okay so pay close attention on the step-by-step -step way in which i'm able to repair this all right this is the best video you get online on how to repair peeled parts and these parts that are always under isis okay now they are always under isis and the peeling always occur when you remove the ice probably um the black glue the black pasted glue okay all right so that's when this occur okay now i'm going to be using a strand of the soda wick okay i'm going to be cutting one uh one strand out of the strands that i have on my soda wick and I'm going to be using this um, to uh, repair this pad. So pay close attention. Cleaning is also very, very important. Okay. All right. If you are here in our YouTube channel and you want to learn all these things, uh, please make sure you join our online training. Uh, numbers are on the screen. You can always DM us on WhatsApp to know more about how to join our online training. And it's going to be helpful uh to you right now as you can see i'm trying to align it on that straight pad and i'm going to apply a little soda on the peeled portion before i apply my soda wick strand okay so pay close attention right now i'm using my auto station to uh to to, to form the soda all right and it's already formed as you can see it is formed already right there okay so in this situation, it is the is is best for us to use our auto station, and the um, the solder I'm using is 183 uh, degree solder paste right there. So if you want to know, there you go. Now pay close attention. This might take you several practice for you to um, fully master this. Okay, all right. So just pay close attention on how. I am doing mine right now so what i'm going to do is that that strand i'm going to attach it i'm applying my flux right now i'm going to attach it to the soda that small little soda that i i formed right on that track and i'm going to um, now systematically and gently place that strand i mean the the the, the strand i cut from the from the week okay so i'm going to apply my water station while my flux is applied please make sure you apply your flux if you want to get the same result apply your flux then apply the water station right there and guide the strand until it is well secured okay just pay close attention on how i'm doing my i intentionally not fast forward this so that you can also see how long it took me to um to do this all right now it has been secured now look at the way i'm going to roll it okay in this um, method you, you are going to need two tweezer okay some people call it picker so you need two tweezer to um, roll the strand okay so pay close attention on the trick i'm going to be using to roll the the, the strand you see starting from the tip right there i'm trying to push in supporting with the second tweezer rolling it in try to tilt the tip of the strand of the wick 
all right you see pay close attention pushing with the other tweezer to form that round uh, shape right there okay forming the round shape right there this is what we need and this is perfectly done if you don't get this at once don't worry yourself keep practicing and practicing and you'll get this done if you want to learn more about mobile phone repair please join our online training okay our numbers are on the screen and um, dm us and we're going to chat on how we are going to help you all right so now cleaning is very very important i'm going to introduce the the base of the tweezer all right and what i'm trying to do right now is i'm trying to flatten the strand i'm trying to flatten it right there okay to make sure it's it's not bumpy all right so that when i'm installing the ic it will it will it will to install properly you see i'm trying to flatten it so you flatten it by pressing it down but don't press too hard so that you don't scratch and create a gnd on the part so take your time don't rush this can take you like up to one hour if you're a beginner but if you're a professional i think this should take you around 20 minutes and you are done okay now this is one of the micro soldering tip and trick all right that we use to repair parts now the liquid i'm applying right here is called um uv curing oil uv curing oil this oil is going to help us to solidify the shape we have uh, created right there it's going to help us solidify it and make it stable like other parts okay and when i'm saying pad I'm, i don't mean p a h r t i mean p a d s p a d s parts these are parts okay bga parts bug grid array parts all right so now as you can see um applying my uv light that blue light coming out was the uv light this is the light to help the um the liquid i applied earlier solidify now after that we need to scratch off the um uh, the 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 oil the uv oil because it's now in a solid state right now so we need to scratch uh scratch the surface off so that we can have um a place where the ball can really connect with this repaired um with with this um, pad i'm repairing i hope you guys are getting what i'm saying so use your razor a very sharp razor to scratch it out and once that is done you clean cleaning is very very important as you can see each of my step requires cleaning and i'm cleaning thoroughly right and be careful as we well, don't brush too hard now what we are going to be doing is that we're going to be adding um solder on it uh on 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 this new pad that we've just repaired we're going to create um solder on it all right why do we do that we need to this is a form of foundational um part okay trying to make um a way i mean a connectivity for the 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 bga that is going to sit on this particular part okay so it's not going to be a new thing to the part right and you can also see the base i'm also applying uv glue um uv curing oil right there so that the base can be solidified so that it can be solidified and unmovable right there so this is how to troubleshoot guys i mean sorry this is how to repair parts all right uh, the the uh, the easy way all right the easy way if you are liking the video please if you're enjoying the video please make sure you hit the like button right away okay now i'm cleaning as well and as you can see um my pad is almost ready all right let me zoom out so that you can see how the repair went you can see right there that's a very very good um pad repair right there that is that this one i'm pointing at is very 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 nice okay you see uh all right don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips and tricks all right this is the pad right here and this is going to work properly okay now if you are interested in our online training please make sure you 
uh, dm us on the numbers on the screen and we are going to chat with you dm us on whatsapp so we can talk on how you're going to join the training our training is very affordable and you're going to learn a lot from our training i hope you guys enjoyed this video now i'm installing the emmc right now all right and it is done see you in my next video peace